You're at Amblin, you're working for Spielberg, and then Goonies, right? Yeah. Goonies hits the horizon. And like the, your first, the first time you heard the title Goonies is what, where, and what, how, what's happening? Um, Chris Columbus um, came to Amblin and, and was, uh, and we set up an office for him on the second floor, just down the hall from Stephen's office. Um, he had written Gremlins, of course, and, and, so Stephen had this story of the Goonies. I don't know how he came up with the title, um, but uh, uh, hired Chris to write it. And so, um, you know, Chris was just Chris then. And, and so we would come into the office once in a while, various people, and, and just chat for a few minutes and then go. And I always made sure that he had what he needed. But um, uh, so, you know, the story was kind of revealed a little bit at a time, but it wasn't until um, we had the scripts printed up and ready to go out to the actors that I had a chance to read it. And it was somewhat different than, than the, the final film. Who I want to get to the script in a moment, but who auditioned for that, that w- went on to be famous. Do you, do you remember, do you remember the casting on that? Uh, yeah. I mean, like <laughs> Josh Brolin. Um, uh, right. But I mean, Sean no, Austin. not who's not who's in it, but like who auditioned oh. for it and didn't get it. Oh, um, well, the only uh, child actor I know that that auditioned um, because we, you know, I did the casting session was uh, Corey Haim, but but um, uh, really everybody else um, who we brought in, who Mike Fenton brought in, uh, were kind of right for the part. Mm-hmm. Mike Fenton, by the way, may have been the best to ever do that job. Oh, I agree, one hundred percent. Yeah, maybe the best ever. Man. With all due respect to Laura Laura Kennedy, who handled it uh, for Warner Brothers, uh, Fenton was just unbelievable. But well, and, and of course, Marion Doherty was a legend. But of but course, Fenton, yeah, another yeah. one. But Mike was, you know, Mike was just a, a such a, a nice man. Yes, um, and always upbeat, and and uh, um, was so easy to get along with everybody, and and the actors loved him. So because uh, he had a, he had a way of putting them at ease, mm-hmm. um, you know. So. Uh, yeah, so I would consider Mike a star, you know. Yeah, for sure. So was Spielberg? Uh, Spielberg was going to direct that, right? Or who was the who was his idea to direct it when he decided not to do it? Or what's the real story with all that? Um, you know, I don't know that Stephen ever considered directing Goonies because he had really been enticed by um, the color purple mm-hmm. by Quincy Jones. And so I think the, the conversations about Stephen doing that were pretty serious, but, you know, he was also producing four other movies. Um, so, and, and a TV series and getting ready to go into production. So he had, he had a pretty full plate. Your road to redemption is paved with tombstones. No quarter, kill all masters. Go to no quarter, killallmasters.com. Read it all. 